You know, you saw the Kings obviously in the playoffs last year. I know this is a totally uh, new season, but does anything sort of linger from that series or another chance to see them again? Um, you know, obviously they got they got their guys back. I mean, Doty wasn't playing. They added Fiala. Um, you know, they're they're a good team. Um, definitely saw that in the playoffs. Um, you know, it's always a tough test with them. Go ahead. I was just going to say, you know, you, you see, I know it's happened for it, but you, you sort of see Todd again, uh, your old coach, and you did have the playoff battles with him. Is it still feel like a little bit of a, you know, familiar face, old coach going against him, or does that not factor in anymore? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I guess, you know, it's still, you know, it's nice to, to see him doing well and having success. And, um, and obviously, I hope not uh, tomorrow, but... Um, Obviously, wish him nothing but the best. I, I loved having him as a coach while he was here. And, uh, yeah. You had a couple of days off. How did you try to use that to your advantage? Um, yeah, we, we did a little bit of team building um, and a little bit of rest. And, and uh, you know, it's always nice to have a couple of days off in the middle of the season. We've seen your team's best game a few times now. There's been some impressive outings. But maybe not enough of them, or maybe not enough in a row of them. I don't know if that's there. Uh, you're still, you know, a little bit above 500. Good game, bad game, good game, bad. At what point do we start to think that it's time to see more of that good game? Yeah, I mean, the word you're, you're talking about is consistency. Obviously, that's what we want. Um, you know, a more consistent, uh, consistent game. You know, like you said, we've had good ones and we've we've had bad ones, and it's kind of flipping back and forth. So. Um, yeah, we definitely, definitely need to string them together. Um, you know, you need to go on a little run um, at some point throughout the year. So, yeah. somehow, probably if you lumped your all your best games together, most of them have come on the road. Yep. Uh, any idea why? That's a good question. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure. Um, this building is a building that we're comfortable playing in. Um, you know, it was very friendly to us last year. Um, you know, we love playing in front of our fans, but for whatever reason, we haven't brought our A game. Um, you know, we've got two at home here. Um, I'd look, look to, you know, for our best in both. Some of the defensive numbers aren't great. Shots against, goals against, and that's not. Is that, that's always a priority to tighten up defense, but is it even more so now with a couple of your forwards out that contributes offensively? Yeah, I mean, we, it's always a, a priority of ours to, to, to be solid defensively. Um, you know, see the defensive numbers aren't, aren't where we want them to be. Um, so it's uh, definitely an area of improvement for us. I don't, I don't know if you're a big Jersey guy, but there's some hype for fans around the flying wheel drop or whatever you want to call it coming back. Uh, what, do, what do you think of it? Um, I haven't seen it kind of all put together. I'm looking forward to it. Um, looks like it's going to be a nice jersey. Yeah. Were you a Jersey guy when you were a kid? Were you into any styles or getting stuff like that? Um, not too much, you know. I had my, you know, I had my Leafs jersey and stuff like that, like any Toronto kid. But uh, nothing, nothing crazy. Do you guys get much say in what you're wearing and such? Do they take it to you and say, "Hey, what do you like?" Or is it just here? This is what you wear. Um, they involve us in some things, not all, not all of them. Um, you know, I think. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Not much. <laughs> not much more to add on that. Was, it, was the orange? Is it, was the orange you're you're happy to put behind you guys? Um. Yeah, a little bit. You know, I think the I think the Royal jerseys are are some of the nicest in the league, and I'm happy to see them come back for sure. Um, the orange was nice, and it served its purpose, I guess. But uh, you know, it's nice to be back in the Royal.